Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today it's time for something a little bit special. It's time for an eight men Grand Master free for all. We're on the Forbidden Planet, a relatively small map. Look at that production tab, actually. I don't even know what happens when I use my other interface buttons. But regardless, I think it's time to introduce all eight of these players. Spotting here, I guess, with the beautiful pink colors, we have Rodzin. Right next to him, another pink-ish colored Zerk, Garatos. Then we have over here a Terran, UC Koti. A yellow Terran, or a yellow Protoss player, rather, called Exo Striker. We have Beastie Cutie. I know many people that are fans of this man. I uh, highly recommend you go ahead and check out his YouTube channel, his live stream, and all that. We have the Mus Zero, and then also a Mixu. And last but not least, none other than the Maga. Now, many people are familiar with Beastie Cutie's challenges of, like, for example, 1 versus 7 Brutal AI. I don't know exactly how he's gonna approach this, but I do feel like Beastie is gonna be one of those players who's actually got a strategy prepared, right? Like, what do you do in an 8-man free-for-all? So here are the rules, okay? Dricket is the one that uh, that put out this event on the North American server a couple times already. Eight-man free for all over here, or over there rather. Now we're on the European server, so these are all European grandmasters in StarCraft 2. They're playing for $100 uh, first place prize, and apparently they also get a map made to their liking, limited to free for all maps for now. So obviously that's gonna help and continue doing this in the future as well. If you enjoy this kind of this kind of thing, let me know. Because obviously, uh, if there's people interested, I can certainly go ahead and cast more games like this in the future, too. Now, I do have to warn you in advance, free-for-alls can get very chaotic very fast, okay? So if I miss a bunch of battles and all of a sudden someone, like, dies, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta just let you know that things are gonna get really crazy really fast and I might miss a thing here or two. Should be okay, though. Should be okay. Now, this is a map... That is a little bit... Oh my god, look, already, Beastie Cutie, man. This man is. This man has a plan. He's going for a freaking bunker rush inside of his opponent's main base. Okay, so here's the thing. This map, it does not allow for a lot of expansions. There's also Zerklings right over here. That's also already a bit of a problem. Apparently, Mixu decided to send a lot of links right into the main base of the Protoss player right next to him. And the reason why you want to do this is because you want to eliminate the player next to you as soon as you possibly can. So you can go ahead and take their mineral patches. If you do not have their minerals, it's going to be extremely difficult to achieve anything. Here we go, though. A couple of Stalkers right now available for Exo Striker. Should at the very least allow him to keep these, uh, these Reapers at bay. Looks like there's a single Overlord right here scouting around as well. Garatos just simply taking the low ground expansion. Generally speaking, though, right? These kind of games do start off extremely action-packed until two or three of the players remain. Because when you think about it, right? In an eight-man free-for-all, when three players remain and you're playing for money, usually the players that start fighting are the ones that will lose. <laughs> Say if it's an even split and it's three people remaining, the ones that are fighting are going to be the ones that lose. So usually this is going to get a little bit more hectic once three players are left over and then also obviously in the earlier stages of the game. We'll have to see who can secure what bases. Exo Striker right now taking an expansion. We see Queens being utilized from the low ground. Apparently a spine crawler also going to join the fray. I guess that's planning on popping and poking towards that high ground. If you can actually shut down the Stargate, that would actually be rather painful because Mus Zero only just now taking the expansion. Zerklings right now also once again running into the main base. At the same time though, Beastie Cutie still trying to eliminate that one opponent. Really not that much mining here anymore for Exo Striker. The Maga mostly, uh, mostly playing a little bit more passive, although right now he's actually striking Mixu that was busy striking down that Protoss. So already there's uh, action all over the map. The only ones kind of just doing their own thing. Uzi or Uzi Koti right here, and then also, I guess, uh, the pink Zerk right next to him, Garatos. Although I'm sure they will skirmish in just a little bit. A Zerkling right now scouting what's going on. Mixu already GGing out as he just got two versus one. It's the sad thing that can happen every once in a while, but it does mean that new mineral patches will be available in just a bit. Now, I think the player to look out for here primarily for now is Beastie Cutie, okay? I want to see how this man is going to approach it. I think he planned on, on shutting down this Protoss real quick, or this Terran player, rather. Like, he, he probably... The Terran player, rather, uh, probably uh, planned on shutting down the Protoss player real quick. It didn't happen. It did not happen. First GG at the four-minute mark. A couple of Oracles right now of Rodzin. 
just simply flew from the main base. Just a couple of meters over towards the main base right there of Dimaga. And yes, I'm saying meters now because we're on the European realm, okay? No yards or miles or whatever, whatever you guys, whatever you guys in the United States use to like cover distance. I have no idea. There flew meters, okay? A couple meters right there. That's maybe like 20 meters at most. <laughs> but it does mean right now, since the player in red is gone, right? His main base... The main base of Mixu can be taken right now by Dimaga. Dimaga used to be a pro gamer for many years. I know he does a lot of streaming these days as well. I think that actually the natural, though, of Mixu may very well be taken here in a little bit by Mus Zero. Obviously, that means they will likely clash as well in just a second. In the middle section of the map, there are some golden minerals that I think we're going to probably see in a little bit. But for the time being, it looks like everyone is kind of just trying to do their own thing. Resources lost right now. Pretty terrible for the player in red. But he's already out of the game, so I've got a feeling he's likely not going to be the one that's going to lose the most resources this game. Loco, I've heard that Americans use gallons for distance. Oh, yes, definitely. Square, square gallons per miles. And then calculated and converted to US dollars, I believe, is the, the regular measurement for everything. That's how you uh, calculate freedom. Apparently, a couple of Phoenixes right now being utilized as well, trying to kill apparently an SCV that was building the missile turret. Dude, these Marines, like, can you not just make a siege tank and shoot at your opponent's nexus? Do you don't think that would work? Well, I guess there's going to be a siege tank out once again here for him in a little bit. I feel like if he just puts the siege tank right over there, he could probably, like, kill this nexus. Do you think that would reach? Siege tanks can pretty much always reach everything, right? I'm pretty sure they would. I'm pretty sure they would. Dimaga, though, taking his whole section of the map. Just having one Zerklings right now work, or one Zerkling, rather, work on all of the leftover structures. Mas Zero, though, also aiming for those bases. P-Security did manage to take that expansion on the low ground. And he's doing this thing, yeah. So he's actually going to be elevator pushing some of the units up towards the main. Look at that. So loading up Marines into the medevac and then bringing them up towards the low ground. And how are you going to beat that with Stalkers and Phoenixes? I mean, the Stalkers and Phoenixes were made to deal with the Terran player right here at the bottom, who now did decide to go for that Siege Tank and who's gunning down that uh, that natural expansion. So Exo Striker right now pinned between a rock and a hard place, <laughs> losing two bases simultaneously. And, uh, well, he's both, uh, he's both losing them to Terrans, I guess. There's the main base gone, there's the natural going to be gone as well, and I feel... Like, we're gonna see our second player drop out of this game in just a little bit. For some reason... Oh, he lost the vision. <laughs> he needs to scan or something. If he scans, this base is gone. But he doesn't scan. He doesn't have... Yo, scan! I guess he's preoccupied right now, making a battle cruiser to try and deal with Garatos. Who's set up right next to him. Yeah, Siege Tanks can shoot away further than they can see where right now the Siege Tank is gone. And that means apparently the Nexus will live. I figured he would actually be forced to GG, but... Uh, Uzi, busy microing that one better cruiser going up against the the yellow or was it called like the, not the yellow loco the, the, the pink zerk player look i've been streaming for six hours okay and that's all of a sudden when i got thrown into this game colors colors are are no longer relevant the maga by the way tried to take mixo's old main base not gonna happen must zero preventing that these are european colors okay we see colors differently around here <laughs> second better cruiser joining the fray too and that means that Uzi is going to be a bit of a nuisance here. I think he's probably going to be able to kill that one, uh, one spore crawler. But for now, looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, nothing too terrible, though. Beastie Cutie now also fighting the, uh, fighting the Protoss player that was right on his right. That is the Mus Zero who already took care of one of the players. But that does mean, obviously, that his army is going to be a little bit weaker. Then Beastie Cutie, who has mostly just been uh, losing Reapers here in the early stages of the game. Once again, big stim activated and that means that most of those stargate units are gonna have to back off expansion on the low ground is gone and that means once again mining opportunities here for that gray terran look at these zerks by the way man they joined creep i feel like that's love right there the creep is basically uh basically all over the map <laughs> tempest by the way are being healed up by shield batteries on the low ground, and they're gunning down the main base of Dimaga, who right now is trying to make a bit of a jump for it, but it's not going to happen, right? I mean, there's a lot of photon cannons there, too. These Tempests can just simply shoot away at a distance and kill the main base. 
nothing's really gonna deal that much damage to them. I guess that Dimaga is gonna need, like, maybe a Spire or just a million Hydralisks, but... Yeah, Hydras are gonna be the name of the game for him, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon, I don't think. Garato is apparently denying the expansion for now. Beastie Cutie dropping a couple of SCVs down. Getting himself a couple of Marines in position, and the Zerklings do get killed. That means he's now acquired a third base. Uzi, though? <laughs> you wanted to go for the hatchery over here? It's like, fine. I guess I'll fly it across instead. Turns out there's already a Nexus building here for Exo Striker. Exo Striker, by the way, in a, in a world of trouble. This is kind of like his last mining base. Is the natural that we saw previously did just get killed. Oh my god, these better cruisers, though, taking so much damage. He's going to be able to jump them away towards the high ground just barely. And while this Nexus has been acquired right now, he's not going to be able to build that much. The creep is going everywhere, and this is, unlike co-op, not something you can build on if you're a Protoss. Dimaga, though, rather than uh, being forced to defend his bases right now, I mean, he's going to try and see if he can kill the base of the yellow Protoss. Yellow Protoss gone. We do see that blue command center also uh, being picked off. But right once again, as soon as he leaves, his main base is in trouble from these Tempests. And I don't see what he's going to be able to do. Right? I mean, look at this. It's not going to happen. Exo Striker, by the way, on his last leg right now. Only a couple of Stalkers remain, a couple of Phoenixes. This man has a dream and a couple of minerals as well, so... Maybe he's planning on trying to reconstruct a Nexus somewhere. Trying to figure out if maybe there's like a base he can take. There's actually a free expansion right over here if he really wants to, so I guess that's gonna be okay. Something he could utilize. Here we go though, Dimaga. Utilizing the mass of his army to try and brute force his way through it, but I'm looking at this Protoss army and that one is absolutely massive. Shield batteries not even forced to really use all of their energy as the Roaches and Hydras do run to their deaths. Dimaga is actually going to be the second player to tap out, and that means that Rodzin is going to be able to continue his pressure on the right-hand side of the map. We all know the strength of maxed out Protoss forces, right? And generally speaking, they need more gas than they can muster on two bases. So this is a big win right there for Rodzin, who's not going to be able to take another expansion. Now, apparently Exo Striker, though, he's like, you know what? If you're going to be fancy, I'll try and see if I can maybe take one of those bases. He knew where his opponent spawned. He knows that, obviously, the Maga just GG'd out. He's going to try his very best to maybe see if he can snatch up one of those expansions. We'll see if Rotzen is going to allow him to do so. The Mus Zero, by the way, we haven't looked at his bases in a little while. He did secure another expansion. Now that Dimaga is gone from the bottom, I guess, he's going to be able to finally start mining from Moxie's old main base. At the same time, though, on the left-hand side, we see Beastie Cutie steaming forward with a million Marines, now also using those siege tanks to gun down the planetary fortress of Uzi, who's primarily focused on battle cruisers. They're okay against Marines, but they're not that great. They can certainly not fight all of those marines with Stimpak. Oh. <laughs> Using the better cruisers to try and bait them inside of the range right there of that siege tank. But one siege tank is not going to be enough. We do see a massive anti-armor missile there for Uzi as well. As he does keep all of those better cruisers alive. And they are giving him a ridiculous amount of value. Still, he does need that base. Beastie Cutie though. Look at this. This man is happily macroing up. Getting himself the Fusion Core upgrades right now, too. So that means we're likely going to be seeing Colossi. Or not Colossi, rather. Battle Cruisers from him in just a second. Making uh, five at once. What? Ooh, he's rich. The yellow, yellow Protoss, by the way, still uh, trying to maneuver around the map. And it looks like the base will finally fall. And that means that Uzi is now essentially contained on just two expansions. Garatos, while he didn't really manage to expand on either side of him... He expanded towards the gold instead, and right now, he's going up towards that really scary Zerg late-game army that's mostly dealt with just, I guess, a lot of spellcasters. I mean, look at this. How are you going to break this? Exo Striker still running around, by the way, with just a couple of his, like, probes and stalkers and stuff. I've got a feeling he's in a little bit of trouble, though, as he now is forced to either choose <laughs> a massive Protoss army or a whole lot of Zerg units on the left. Oh my god. Somehow, some way. <laughs> How did he get out of there? Exo Striker, what are you doing, dude? How'd you get away? Lucky for him, he greased up all of his units in Vaseline before they left the gateway. Amazing work. Needs to be careful, though. A lot of that uh, blue creep, by the way, is Dimagas, right? Like, that's not gonna spread anymore, but it's still gonna benefit Garatos. Oh, big parasitic bomb right there being utilized, too, but. Good splits by Rodzin. But look, Beastie Cutie, man. I, I'm starting to get a little bit worried here. 
I look at that minimap every once in a while. I like to position here for the green protos. But I like to position here for the for the great Terran player even more, right? Like BC Cutie happily taking control of a lot of this map. And he's starting to work on that scary, scary army. Getting a lot of better cruises, getting that Sky Terran going. Garatos, though, does have a scary force too. Look at the amount of units he's got, man. Okay, I don't want to keep this screen open for too long because that's ridiculous. But that's already 17 infestors. And he's making more. Rotten, I think you need to take more bases, my man. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually decided now to skip the main base of uh, of the opponent right here, Dimaga, entirely. A lot of Zerklings now actually intercepting the probes that were doing some long-distance mining, but he decided to just skip the main base. I think he should still take it just for the gases. I think the gases are too much value. Especially for a Protoss player. There we go, though. Better cruisers fighting better cruisers left and right. Uzi taking a lot of damage. BCQD trying to snipe down as many of those opposing BCs as possible, teleporting back his own battle cruisers to safety so that can be repaired once again. And all of the battle cruisers here for Uzi, other than a single one, I think. Yeah, there it is. It all ended up going to the ground. Zerklings going around the map. I feel like the Protoss players all kind of have a similar approach in this game, man. That's like sit back, try and micro. And just get a bunch of units out, but mostly sit back, right? He's getting even like a... Uh, by the way, the yellow Protoss is apparently gone. He lost his final structure. But um, he's even now getting himself a mothership as well. Beastie Cutie taking care of another base. If he gets another expansion going, that would be, that would be insane. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's not even so much about the resources, because there's not many, not that many resources remaining anymore. But, uh, you know, just denying another base here is, is huge. At the same time, though, Garatos, who has been macroing really nicely, now also has a very scary force. And he's certainly looking to lend some juicy fungal growths right there, right on top of all of those marines. Alright, there we go. Command centers are falling left and right. Uzi, not ready to give up just yet, but I'm looking at this base of his, and it's looking a little bit, little bit empty. The must zero, though. He's got a scary force, a lot of very scary Protoss air units, and actually a couple of high Templar right underneath, too. If they can lend some storms on some of those Zerk units, for example, it's pretty much going to be game over for the Zerk in a heartbeat. He is now taking another base, which is really, really helpful. This comes down to the player that trades better, right? Like, the player that's more cost-efficient. Now, I think when it comes to, like, ultimate cost-efficiency, though, Zerk is the one who gets the most value, right? Like, if you manage to max out primarily on Infestors, and then also, say, Vipers or something like that, and then a bunch of those uh, Static Defenses as well. Oh my god, Beastie scouting around now with a few Marines. Um, this, is, this is starting to become very, da uh, very dangerous for everyone else because they cannot stop this easily. Yeah, those orbital commands, man, they're, they're just being shut down. Poor guys. Okay. So, four players really still remain, right? So we have Beastie Cutie, who's got four mining bases right now. We have the Mus Zero, likewise also on four bases. We have Rodzin, who's currently also on four bases. And then we have Garatos, who is currently also, well, not quite on four, but he's on three. But he's got a very scary Zerg army. And this is apparently the point in the game where we will see a little bit of a lull. Neither player really wants to commit too, too much. You know, the funny thing is, I'm not even really sure who's favorite in, like, late game Terran versus Protoss when both players can basically make whatever. Who's favorite if you make your dream army in late game Zerk versus Pro or Terran versus Protoss, rather? I guess without Storm... It's gonna be difficult, right? So that's why I do like the Mus Zero's position, who does have a couple of High Templar in there. Actually, there's now also a few available for Rodzin. That's already 37 freaking Infestors, though. He did get himself the Neural Parasite ability, so he can just go ahead and just grab whatever he likes. And that's gonna be very difficult for these uh, Protoss players to deal with. Then over here, we have Beastie Cutie, who apparently called in the fleet. I can fill my entire screen with battle cruisers almost. 
They're fully upgraded. Three, three upgrades here. Hmm. Yo, can someone get rid of this yellow speck on the minimap? I mean, you know, Exo Striker was defeated a while ago, but his army apparently lost uh, lost communication with home. They're no longer able to move. Technically speaking, by the way, we do still have a blue Terran player too, who's technically still alive. Uzi, that is, but I'm looking at this guy's forces and it's not looking too great for him. As in, like, he's got no forces. Beastie cutie, though. Hmm, okay, I like this. He's like, you know what? I maxed out on battle cruisers, pretty much. You know what would be nice? You know what would be nice right now? Nukes. Hmm. Are there any ghosts out? I doubt it. Look at that. He's even getting himself that new ghost ability, too. That's the one that increases the range of the ghost's EMP, which is going to be huge against those, uh, those uh, High Templar, especially. Garato is still trying to get rid of his opponent's army. Or his opponent's base, rather. Uzi, though, decides to GG out. He loses his last command center, and that's game over for him. Over on the right-hand side, at the same time, we do have a little bit of Protoss on Protoss action. This is a maxed-out army on either end, pretty much. Both players maxed on Skytals. Both players with a massive mothership. Both players trying to make, like, photon cannons and shield batteries happen. Rotsin, though, he kind of wants to move out on the map, right? I think he's trying to see if he can maybe mine this base, because he realizes he needs to get some valuable decisions going. Ooh! The Tempest apparently now almost capable of one-shooting a carrier. That's when you know you got a lot of Tempest. Oh, man. Oracle's being utilized there on the right-hand side, trying to use their Revelation. So he can continuously see the units, so the Tempest can actually use their maximum range. Tempest obviously can shoot much further away than they can see. That's why the Oracles are super useful. Beastie is still trying to get going whatever he can, but he's starting to be a little bit cautious. He knows he doesn't have infinite money either. He just actually ended up losing a pretty big chunk of his army. So he needs to be cautious here. Garatos trying to take whatever base he can. There's still some gas remaining in these gas geysers, so maybe he can, uh, he can get that in a little bit. But I've got a feeling this map will mine out, right? So it may very well come down right here to that base that Rotzin was kind of, uh, trying to take. He needs to take uh, take care of one more creep tumor of Dimaga, who dropped out of this game like 10 minutes ago. But uh, who's actually still being a nuisance. There we go. I feel like this base is going to be critical. Like, it all comes down to the player that mines more, right? BCQ though does have a marine overseeing this as well. But there we go. The first nuke has been deployed. And it's actually in a location that's going to be tricky to spot. Because you never know. Is he nuking me? Is he nuking someone else? Luckily, they have for Garatos. He does spot it. And this nuke did not get too much done. Once again, another nuke. Being utilized in the exact same spot. Uh, you need some detection there, my man. You don't have overlord speed. Oh my god, that's so close! That's so close! You gotta get the nuke! Oh god! <laughs> Garatos, you did not have overseer speed, my man. It would have been fine if you had those overseers in position a little bit quicker. I guess the ghost also died. He's gonna be able to once again transfuse those uh, those uh, big brute lords back to full hit points, but this Protoss battle, by the way, still ongoing. <laughs> I can't see everything, guys. I only have two sets of or two sets of ice. Wait, no, I don't have two sets of ice. We don't have that in Europe. I only have two ice, one set. Whatever, you get what I meant. Hard to look at everything. <laughs> I actually have four ice. Yeah. I'm typing this, uh, I'm controlling this game right now with my feet as well. Right foot on the mouse, left foot on the keyboard. There's not a nuke. This time around it's gonna be on that base that Rodzin is trying to secure. PCQ is like, you know what, I don't want you to. Yeah, he just cancels it instead. Not gonna risk knocking down that ghost. I've got a feeling though that ghost is gonna have a hard time getting home. He's gonna try and once again deploy another nuke, but that's not gonna happen as it does get picked off. Alrighty, so the base over here has been picked uh, picked off as well, but must zero. He apparently won the battle. He's got himself a very healthy army. And you know what? I'm liking this guy's bank too. He's got a lot of resources. When it comes to Rodzin, he's kind of broke. He really needs this base. 
Like, he really needs to mine this, uh, these minerals over here, because he doesn't have any... Dude, he actually has no minerals. He has zero minerals to mine. All of the bases are starting to run a little bit low. How much money does Beastie have? Barely any. He needs to spend his money right now to max out. Keep in mind, every single nuke is 100 minerals and 100 gas. It's not free. I know some players that go up against nukes think that, it's, think that it's free, but it's not quite. It's not quite. I'm actually quite surprised, you know, that Mod Zero is not trying to engage to watch the center of the map. I feel like he knows that this is a really important mining base and that he should try and get it. I guess it's difficult for him, though, to gauge how powerful this army from Rodzin is. And it's still, you know, a Mass Skytel's army going up against another Mass Skytel's army. And if they both trade, that's fine and well. But then it's going to be Mr. Beastie Cutie over here, who's going to be a very happy player. Now, I keep forgetting, in a way, from, but, you know, I, I keep forgetting Garatos. Like, yeah, he just ended up getting nuked and all that, which is fine. But this man has immediately started by playing the most powerful Zerk late game. Um, he's got Brute Lords, Infestors, a Viper, a bunch of Overseers. This man has it all. He's also got a lot of Static Defense, which is really good for him. Apparently, the Must Zero, by the way, does want to engage off against that Nexus in the center. He's trying to do so by making a bunch of Shield Batteries and Photon Cannons to try and, I guess, make it easier on him. Once again, Oracle right there flies in, tries to get the Revelation, does manage to get the majority of it. We have a lot of Tempest now fly fighting a lot of Tempest. The Mothership trying to take some of those hits as well. Once again, another nuke right now being utilized, though. In the meantime, he's busy microing all of this. Does he notice that there's a red dot right on top of this? Yes, he does. Rots in. He's going to be able to pull those probes away in time, but the nuke will land. And Beastie Cutie, I mean, he's like the happy third one right now, right? Like, he's the one who's just simply hanging out. He's like, yeah, you guys keep fighting each other. Keep trading minerals. That's kind of what I want you to. I'll just try and be a little bit of a nuisance on the back of this as well. Beastie Cutie, though, in the meantime, also unloading in the bottom right-hand corner right now, forcing the recall. This is the moment, actually, for Mod Zero to strike. He obviously doesn't know that the mass recall has been forced. Beastie Cutie trying to fly <laughs> past this massive spine crawler forest, and I've got a feeling that they are not going to be able to get home. Nope. Sorry, guys. Tonight you dine in hell. Well, except for that siege tank and these three marines who really want to join their friends. They're like, you know, you know what? We were in the Meta Vec 2. Pick us off! Pick, pick us, please! We don't wanna... We don't wanna live. Ooh, Rod's in. Once again, flew over. Main base right now, though, that Nexus, yeah, that's gonna be picked off in the blink of an eye. They have a lot of hit points, but not quite enough here. Rod's in, don't even go there, man. I don't think you wanna go there. Ooh... These battles are pretty insane. Yo, just fight him with the probes. Just attack move with the probes, dude. Don't let him don't let him show you who's boss here. Don't do that. Okay, so we still have two Protoses, one Zerk, and one Terran. I'm starting to like Garatos' chances here more and more. No one wants to fight him. He's just sitting here. The army, though, while it's fragile, it's going to be extremely potent as well, right? Like, if he if he makes one misplay, yeah, that's going to be game over. But there certainly is a chance for this guy right over here. Because he's got the most uh, the most reliable army when it when it does, you know, when it does manage to get the neural parasites and all that. Everyone kind of scrambling for resources. Rots in once again. Actually, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, no. He is, once again, trying to see if he can get that base going. Must zero, though. Doesn't look like he's gonna allow that. B-Security's fleet ready to go. Look at that. I can fill my screen with battle cruisers. Feels good, man. It's a Terran dream right there. Nexus is gonna be gone immediately. But the thing is, like... The Nexus is fun and all, but there's no more resources to mine, right? So, like, the, the point of picking up a Nexus at this point is not that interesting. Must zero. Killing a freaking Nexus with probes. It's because they have been fighting here left and right for a little while already. Must zero, where's your army? Where'd it go? Uh, Must zero, where's your force? Okay, he actually pulled it back a little further. So, apparently, he's gonna give up that position, and now he's allowing Rods in to mine that base. The other gold base, picked off already. Garatos just simply sitting. What's he even doing right now? 
He's just spreading creep. He's just spreading creep and sitting nice and pretty. It's like, you know what? You guys can fight all you want. I'll just pick you off slowly over time. I wouldn't mind seeing those Brute Lords maybe trying their hand at like dealing a little bit of damage right now to the main base of Rolston. That's where his production is located. Might force him to go back home, which would create an opportunity for Mus Zero to move in. Beastie Cutie now apparently long distance mining. How did they get the golden minerals? Did they just mine them over here? Hmm. Okay, so the probes, by the way, they were successful in doing, uh, doing their jobs. <laughs> They managed to get themselves the kill on the Nexus. So who's got the biggest bank? I think it's actually the green protals. Yeah, there's more resources over here though to be gathered. Beastie has a lot of gas, but not really a maxed out army. He's only at 158 supply and he's got no more mining here either. Zerk, still expanding the creep, still slowly moving forward. Trying to make sure that he can always fight where those spore crawlers are, right? He's got his army split up into multiple different groups. Finally, he starts the assault. One SCV is going to be the one. That's going to have to pick it off. BCQ now fully aware of the fact that that Zerk army is close by. It's now also inside of that radius, and he scans, so he knows exactly what's going on. He was in the radius right there of the sensor tower. Viper, though, very critical here. One parasitic bomb certainly would soften up his army nicely. Rods in, apparently. Still not dealing with this Zerg player whatsoever. But we see Garatos coming in action. He's been sitting back for the majority of the game. He's not quite maxed out yet, but he's basically mining out every little bit of resources that there are. So he's also actually gonna, gonna now leave that position here of those spark colors alone. Yo, that's just BM at this point. <laughs> Couple of infested Terrans. You know what? He doesn't have maxed upgrades though. He doesn't have uh, he doesn't have three three three, which may very well hurt him quite a bit. I think he got EMP'd as well, judging by the fact that half of those infestors now have no more energy. One Viking, apparently. Or one set of Vikings. Trying to act cool. Here we go. Beastie Cutie jumping across, trying to get the most out of this scenario. Scanning. He knows exactly where all of those, uh, all of those infestors are located. Now, he doesn't have 3-3 upgrades, and these better cruisers do. Which is huge, because it feels like all of those infested Terrans... Primarily are just tickling, right? And now that the Infestors have been separated from the Brute Lords, those Brute Lords are toast. There they are. Shut down. Gone. Beautiful move right there by Beastie Cutie. Surrounding that Zerk army and forcing Garatos to go all the way back home. A gleaming endowment. He's trying to get the most out of the units and Beastie Cutie. Shut him down. Thank you, by the way, Soli Fluxion, for the 1300 bits. He says, Loco, I don't want to interrupt, but I'm enjoying this a lot. Hey, thank you. It's so strange right here for Rodzin, though, right? Like, if you look at the minimap, for the player in, like, the bright hot pink... Well, right now he's green, I guess. But, uh, he's basically got his bases completely split up. Garatol's right now, uh, forced to, I guess, micro spore crawlers and just sit here. And do nothing. <sighs> this is every Protoss player's wor worst nightmare, right? Like engaging into a, a spore crawler forest and you know that there's gonna be infestors lurking about. <laughs> I've got a feeling all of the players in this game will just like sit back and not engage the turtle. Just don't engage the turtle. Just don't do it. There's no reason to. Don't fight it. The Mus Zero, by the way, now long distance mining gas and I guess... No, just gas, really. Got about a million probes. Long distance mining gas. I killed most of the Zerk's army, says Beastie Cutie in all chat. Obviously, right now, Rotson is trying to figure out, and Mazero is trying to figure out. Is he playing mind games? Is he for real? Did he actually kill most of the Zerk player's army? Actually, you know what? You know what Mazero is probably thinking? Huh? There's a Zerk player? <laughs> I feel like that's, you know, that's, there was nothing going through his mind about, like, is he playing mind games? It's like, no, 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 I don't think there's even a Zerk player anymore. Turns out there is. These Protosses have been fighting each other for a while, man. It's the eternal battle. <laughs> Loco, this is straight Hunger Games meta. 
I like it. The Hunger Games meta. Where everyone's trying to starve each other out. And then you get into that awkward spot where three of them remain and nobody wants to commit. <laughs> I mean, technically there's four remaining, I guess. The Battlecruiser fleet, by the way, jumped towards the main base. He needs to be careful. Keep in mind, Infestors have Neural Parasite. He will, uh, he will certainly Neural these Battlecruisers and fly them into the forest. That's why uh, Garatos is here. Not playing for the win anymore, I don't think. Just mostly playing to uh, be an absolute nuisance. Repositioning Spore Crawlers for no apparent reason whatsoever. <laughs> he's just moving them around for the fun of it, man. Playing the Spore Crawler game. It's like he's doing a puzzle. He's playing tic-tac-toe with his, with his Spore Crawlers. <laughs> Rods in. Mining out the gold base. He fought for this. I feel like this man has lost more resources than he gained from, like, getting this base up and running. He's playing battleships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing battleships. <laughs> he's trying to line them up on a grid. Now, Beastie Cutie, he's like, you know what? You guys are skirmishing in the top right and corner all the time. I mean, he knows because he's been scanning left and right. He knows what's happening. Um, he's like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and take out your main base. See how that goes for you. Now, keep in mind, right? These battle cruisers, yeah, they can be repaired, but there's no more money. So every little bit of damage that Beastie takes right now on these BCs is huge. And even though he can technically tactical jump back home, he's going to have to tactical jump really early because, I mean, he can't repair. Unlike these Protoss units that will slowly but surely regenerate shields, he can't repair. Tempest, still trying to fight whatever they can. Yeah, Beastie's playing this really cleverly. I love the way that he's playing this. He also had a strategy right from the get-go, right? Where he decided to go for, uh... Ooh, nice. He also had a strategy right from the get-go where he, like, did that Reaper cheese to his opponent to try and get the bases going. And while it didn't really work out that greatly, he's the one that had, a uh, An early game, a mid-game, and, and a late game plan. And I do like that. Garatos did not have a mid-game or an early game plan. He just wanted to play Infestors. <laughs> Infestors and Spore Crawlers. He moved out on the map once. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna spread creep now. That's gonna be my job. All I'm gonna do is spread creep. Man, Terran is really good with these scans though, right? All he needs to know is that this Protoss army is not moving. If it's not moving, he can keep on flying around. Just keep an eye out. Love the fact that he also actually has this hike around over here, so he knows that the army is over there in the first place. Must zero, really not doing a whole lot anymore. Ever since he gave his opponent a gold base, I feel like he's been huddling in his corner, patrolling back and forth. I mean, yeah, he's been fighting, obviously, but doesn't seem like he's got much of a plan here. I'm still a little bit worried, though, because, like, if you make one misstep and the Zerg player gets Neuroparasites on all of your air units, you're in a world of trouble. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Whew, he doesn't want to do it. He immediately tactical jumps across back to the safety of his old main. And I guess that's going to allow him now to clear out the creep or something. But he's going to have to face off against his army at some point. And I've got a feeling that a maxed out, uh, a maxed out Protoss army is going to be a little bit better than a 130 supply Terran. Right? Even though you may have those fancy Battlecruiser skins and they look all badass and all that. I mean, even the Battlecruiser pilot that's got sunglasses on right now. Needs to figure out a way to fight this. Now, I guess one way, one way that B Security could win this is by having the two Protoss players duke it out together. By one of the Protoss players flying over all of these infestors. But for now, I do quite like the position here for both of these Protosses. The must zero spent his bank dose. He's only at 160. You know what? That golden base turns out to be huge. Now, Rotzen is going to try his luck. There we go. Infestors are moving forward. He doesn't see them. He doesn't see them. There's the oracles. He knows they're there. All right. And with the revelation being utilized, he knows it's going to be okay. Now, obviously, revelation is only going to be on some of these units. So this puts him in a bit of a false sense of security. Random fungal growth. That fungal growth does about nothing. This is mostly just a fungal growth of, hey, back off. I don't want you here. Get off my lawn. It's the get off my lawn fungal growth. I mean, those shields will regenerate. It's like, all right, fine, I'll leave. Garatas, though, did end up losing a lot. He's now revealed for everyone, so everyone can see his beautiful spore crawler forest. <laughs> I 
So I guess the bottom left-hand section right now of the map is basically a place you don't hang out in anymore. Well, unless you go all the way to the bottom left hand, but there's no reason for it. Beast and Cutie, though, has tactical jump off cooldown again, so he's testing the waters. The High Templar. Trying to get something done. Hmm. Now, this is the awkward part of 8-man free-for-alls. Because essentially, the player that doesn't fight is the one that wins, right? <laughs> and since we're playing for 100 bucks first place price, nobody really wants to fight. Nobody really wants to fight. Yeah, this can turn into a very long game. Now, the creep tumors do not count as structures. These spore crawlers, however, do. Oh my god. Yo, the infested Terrans actually did a little bit of work, though. <laughs> I wonder what's going to Gareth, like, through Garatos' mind right now. I don't want to make any assumptions here, right? But I always kind of feel like you want to play StarCraft 2 with a win condition. And there's no win condition here for him, right? This is just him being a turtle. I don't think he's got any win condition. He's just raining a couple of infested towns here and there. Now, you know what? Rotson does need to be careful. He cannot use interceptors like that. Like, these interceptors are not free, right? They cost, uh, what is it, 15 minerals per interceptor? He cannot just simply, like, send them in for fun. Infester once again gets picked off. The Battlecruiser fleet still on idle. Rodzin is the only one really being active out on the map. Must zero has been cowering like a, I don't know, like a coward, I guess, in the top right-hand corner for like the last 20 minutes. He's just been sitting there. His entire strategy is just like, I hope they're gonna fight me. Come to my, I wanna fight with my photon cannons. That's his whole strategy. All he wants to do is fight with the photon cannons. That's it. For all we know, he's not even at the computer right now. No, he is, look. There's a phoenix. Can I, can I look at Beastie Cutie's screen? This is Beastie Cutie's screen. This is this is what be like this is what Terran is looking at. Oh, oh, there's something? Oh, it's an hallucination. Oh, okay. Let's see what uh Rotson is looking at. Okay, look, look, Rotson's playing the game, guys. Look, Rotson's playing the game. <laughs> what is the Mus Zero looking at? A single probe? He's like, huh, Terran cleaned all of this up? Amazing. <laughs> Quick, hide in the corner. He's gonna start looking at his army again. There it is. There it is. It's like still there. It's still patrolling. <laughs> He's putting probes in positions so they can see an incoming army. Are there still any nukes, by the way? Uh, no. No more nukes available. Just 16 better cruises and a dream. Apparently the better cruises right now hanging out in the top left-hand corner. Loka, I wonder what these other- what these players are doing with their other hand right now? Did he just assume the amount of limbs they have? I can't believe it. Now, there's still a little bit of gas here and there. Rodzin, what are you doing? Are you just patrolling the probes? So, are there still any mineral patches anywhere? Um, there's 270, uh, like, gas bits right over there, which is, I guess, nice. He found money to make one more spore crawler, which I guess is ni nice, and he's got that queen as well. Rather than fighting on his side of the map, though, he's just starting to cower towards the bottom left-hand corner. Where the Mus Zero, f for some reason, managed to sneak in a single probe.
Yeah, there's uh, 344 rich minerals left over. But I guess at this point we're playing the waiting game. Like, who wants to fight? <laughs> who wants to fight? That would be sick. You guys remember that final mission of the epilogue of StarCraft II's Legacy of the Void? Where, like, Amon basically... Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Um, where Amon starts, like, knocking down parts of the map. Or I think it's actually the first mission or something of the epilogue, but I'm not sure. But he knocks down, like, parts of the map. And, like, the map itself gets smaller and smaller and smaller. That would be pretty sick. If we have, like, the map actually getting smaller over time because no one wants to fight like they all know that if you fight you're gonna be in trouble now i gotta compliment rotson here like he's the only one actually doing something everyone else is just sort of like look look, look at this yeah we need like a starcraft 2 battle royale exactly we need like a i don't know a reason for players to make uh make uh, make a move right that would actually be pretty sick Is that possible? If someone can make a map like that, I would be very interested. It would be sick if we have like a map where the first 30 minutes or so... It's an 8-man free-for-all map, right? If we have a map that's gonna be standard for the first 30 minutes or so... Um, and then like it starts slowly... But surely... Getting smaller. Yeah, fire, though, doesn't really matter too much, right? Like, these units don't really care too much about fire. But something like that would be pretty cool. Yeah, just like a better royale. Where everyone is forced to move towards the center. Oh, yeah, it's the Benchy map. I remember the Benchy map from the, Legacy, or from the Wings of Liberty campaign, right? Where, uh, there's like a, a wall of fire that moves from left to right on the map. Right, yeah, we could we could probably get something like that. I don't know if it's possible to make that in, like, the StarCraft editor. But that would be amazing for 8-man free-for-alls. We'd actually get, like, a proper... We'd get, like, a proper StarCraft 2 Battle Royale. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, someone was disconnecting. It's probably the Zerg player, AFK. Let's have a look at the APMs right here. Okay, this Protoss player, the one in green, has about uh, 80 APM. Sounds about right for a Grandmaster Protoss. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Beastie Cutie's like, yo, fight! Beastie Cutie, you're the only one cowering in the corner, mate! You're the one... <laughs> Garato's like, you guys wanna fight? I've got Spore Crawlers, come fight over here! Our illustrious champion returns. Thank you, Firebolt. Welcome home. Thank you for the 29 months. Welcome back. But this happens every single free-for-all I've ever seen, though. There's always gonna be a stalemate at some point. Am I... Am I... Am I... Ah, I am a... Uh... One of Tempest goes down for the pink protals. Beautiful play by the green protals. Very good micro. Thanks for commentating, beastie. I ran out of steam. Out of, out of words to say. Minutes ago. Guys, just read, just read the chat. Just read it in his accent too, you know, just imagine it his voice. Go grab some water. I'm, I, I am out of water, beastie. I am out of water, but I think I got it. Insane revelation. <laughs> Two batteries going down, boys. It's like the BlizzCon Grand Finals all over again. I like I like how he has all the vision, by the way, with just infinite scans. That's pretty that's pretty great, right? Templar full energy, huge damage. There it is. Rodzin though. Rodzin is the only one who wants to fight. But hey, you know what? 
Beastie Cutie provoking his enemies. Probably the smart way of playing, right? What's the saying again? If two dogs fight over a bone or something? If two dogs fight over... Fight over a... What, what's the saying? I'm not sure what the saying is. There's a Dutch saying similar to it. But I'm not sure exactly what it is. Beastie is currently changing his socks on stream, literally. <laughs> Beastie, stop... Stop it with... with your socks. We have a game to play. There you go. Call them out, boys. Thanks. Thank you for the stream scouting. Streamers don't have feet. <laughs> Rumor has it when you get Twitch partnership. You lose your legs. You gain partnership. So it's a win. Like why I heard streamers don't have pants? Is that how it works? Now I hate to break it to you guys. I'm wearing pants. I know. Now, maybe your follow-up question, Loco, but do you always wear pants? For example, when you make YouTube videos. <sighs> that will remain a secret. What is Garatos's like, plan? Garatos, what's your plan? I'm, I'm doing interviews now. I wait a fight. Okay. This is about as this this is about as good as any pro gamer interview. Right? Like his strategy literally is I wait a fight. Perfect. That's the way to do it. Yo, Beastie. Beastie get him. Yo, Beastie's forced to make a move. I got to say that Rotten is the only one, right? We've been going at this for 53 minutes. Rotten is the only one who's actually been actively playing the game. Uh, get up! A single sentry. I like how he moves his battle cruisers from the top left hand corner towards, uh, I don't know. Like, not even the base that he was trying to defend. No more, no more, oh, no more opsing for you. He can't scan anymore, right? Well, I mean, never mind. <laughs> well, I mean, never mind. He still has like five, five of these orbitals. It'll be okay. Beastie is dying. He's dying live on stream. No, I think you're okay. Oh, oh! Snipe! Amazing. Big oof. Got himself that Templar. Did you see that Templar? Shot him with a Yamato gun. Mus Zero finally woke up. Probably took a nap. Made some coffee. But the battle cruisers are gone. <laughs> oh. We we need we need battle royale, okay? We need battle royale where the map shrinks. I would love, I would love to put on show matches. Eight man free for all show match. I would love it. If it's what, like a battle royale where the map shrinks. Slowly, but surely. We all. <laughs> Guys, wait. Seriously, though. We all hate Zerk. Let's kill him first. The issue is that Mus Zero has to fly through a base. 
I suggest a truce. I, I, I suggest Beastie takes uh, Beastie takes west. Rodzin takes north. Mus takes east. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just patrolling. He's just sitting there. You know what we could also do? Oh, we could also just take a nap. Loco, think of all the Lennies. I, I, I did what had to be done, guys. I did what had to be done. Luckily for us, there's no more Lennies. So we won't feel too guilty. I like how I made a suggestion. And Beastie's like, yes, let's do it. And now he's back in the top left corner. How many players are alive? Garatos has no idea, man. Garatos has been sitting in the game. All his spore crawlers for like a while. He's perfected his setup. All he's trying to do is like spread creep backwards. Like you may be wondering, Loco, why would you? No, there's no reason. There's about zero reason. There's about zero reason to spread creep backwards. Hmm. Garatos. Garatos, can you at least write your name with creep tumors? I mean, I feel like that's what he could be doing. Why is he not like... He could also be drawing a wiener or something with creep tumors, you know? Make something out of it. You can't kill Taren with creep tumors? What if he's laughing, though? And then, you know, he won't be paying attention. Oh my god. The game will end in two seconds. There's a stillmate. Stillmate detected. If nothing happens for two minutes, the game ends and nobody wins. That would be, after the most action-packed 20 minutes of this game, that would be the most anticlimactic ending possible. Um, there's a maximum timer. There's a time limit of one hour, I think. No, never mind. Never mind. It was just a stillmate detection. He killed a pylon, or whatever he killed over here. <laughs> yeah, if you snipe one building, the stillmate gets reset, because the game's like, Oop, something's happening! Now you have to wait another two minutes before it will indicate another stillmate. So there will be an end to this game, one way or another. Yo, drink it. If no one wins, the caster gets the money, right? <laughs> I feel I feel like that would be appropriate. I'm not a ref, but I'll say sure. Oh, Dricket says sure. Dragon is the one, by the way, paying the price money, putting on this show match. Oh, me immediately, Rotsu is like, okay, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna start hunting. <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Amazing. Checkmate. Uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say though, Rotten is the one doing something all the time. 
Loco, what happened? I, I went away for two minutes. Oh, nothing happened, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. I hope that Rodzin wins this. I'm cheering for Rodzin. He's the only one playing this game, okay? Like, everyone else is cowering. They're like, I don't wanna f I don't wanna f fighting. I'm, sc I'm scared. Rodzin. He's playing this, okay? Like a man. Or a woman. Walking across. He laughs in the face of danger. Balls of steel. Yo, guys, think of the 100 bucks. Think what you could spend the 100 bucks on. I could buy snacks. Think of all the snacks I could buy for a hundred bucks. That's a great suggestion. The thing is... You know what would be the most anticlimactic ending to this game ever? If the must zero? Or if Garatos wins? You know the funny part as well? If Garatos didn't move out towards the top left hand corner, he would be the favorite player right now. Remember that movie that towards the top left hand corner? He'd be the favorite player. Yo, must zero. What about you do something, mate? There's nothing out there. There's nothing you have to worry about. He's like, oh, no, I'm protect the Nexus. Put the simulator cloak. Oh, the other simulator. Cloak the other simulator. Oh, the other. Cloak the other one. <sighs> Agreed. He killed your last oracle. I'm going south. Beastie cutie, that's not where the li Oh god. Beastie cutie. I don't know, man. There's a scary zerk out there. There's a scary zerk. I don't know if you want to fight that necessarily. It's gonna fly all the way around. Slowly moving forward. Oh, 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 oh! My god. Garatos, the most action we've seen out of this man in about 20 minutes. A new hey, NXT arrived. timer. Thank you for the support. Thank you for dropping your prime over here. Thank you, Firebolt, by the way, as well. Thank you, Soli Fluxion. He says, Loco, I'm enjoying the stream with a, a cider after a long work week away from home. Took me five and a half hours of driving today. 249 miles to get home today. Whew. Guys, there's action in the top right. I think a probe died. I think a probe died, Don. A timely reappearance. Domo, thank you as well for the three months. So, hey, I'm open to suggestions, though. If you guys like the format of 8 versus 8 or 8 man free for alls, please do let me know. Because I am 100% interested in doing more of these. But I do think we have to figure out a way to prevent the stalemate, right? Either someone has to make a map. And I'm happy to pay for that. If, if someone like wants to make a cool map that's similar to this one, but just sort of like breaks down over time or has some sort of mechanic that forces the players to engage, I would be very like interested in that because it's great. Like this happens though every single eight man free for all I've ever casted, especially when money is involved because then nobody wants to commit anymore, right? Luckily, you could force the ending at one hour. Yeah, but nobody wants to fight at one hour, though. Because you could technically determine the winner with, like, the score points you get, but, uh... That's about it, right? Like, there's not that much else you can do. Beastie Cutie has a mod for that already. Base trait uses a King of the Hill map with a victory point region in the center. I don't like that one as much, though. I don't like King of the Hill that much. I would like to see just, like, just like we have in a Battle Royale, you know, like PUBG or Fortnite or, like, you know, Apex or whatever, where, like, the maps get smaller. That would be sick, right? Where you take damage from your troops when you go behind, like, or outside of the circle. Because that way everyone's forced closer and closer and closer to the center. And this would actually be a great spot as well to hang out, like, just over here. I think it would be pretty cool. Oh, God. Rod's in. Trying to catch the Terran player. Uh, and he pussy out.
That was that was brave. <laughs> he screamed. This map is already considered to be the smallest one in eight man free for alls because all players just have one base. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Potato Mesher, thank you for the 65 months in a row. I appreciate that. Yo, Garatos, can you at least draw a wiener with your spore crawlers? Like, do something with him, dude. This guy is playing battleships with his spores. It's, uh... Tell him to attack. You have free reign to talk to the players. Both Risers and Loco. But what can I tell them, Dricket? There's nothing I can say. Drick it, you have to come up with an additional rule if you want people to actually fight. The Must Zero finally woke up from his sleep. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Maniac, as well, by the way, for the 66 months. Or, nay, wait, wait, wait. Potato Measure with the 65 months, rather. Dude, that's an insane amount of time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Rotson did something, man. Apparently, a couple of infested Terrans have made their way to watch the main base right now as well of Beastie Cutie. I'm supposed to call them names. Dricket. Dricket says I should call you guys names. I'm open to suggestions, guys. What kind of name should I call them? Revenge. See you in 30 minutes. You guys play like NA players. Can't believe it. I've seen Winter's eight-man free-for-alls like this as well, man. They end very similarly. I thought this was EU. Yikes. Yeah, see? See, that hurt. See, that hurt them. Beastie's like, oh, you know what? Now you've done it. This was supposed... To make you angry, so you fight. <laughs> yeah. Sarah would be ashamed if he knew. See? I just keep guilt tripping them. I'll just keep guilt tripping them. This is... This is reminding me... Of Platinum League play. There you go, there you go. Keep offending them. <laughs> I'm just BMing them. See, now no one's talking anymore. They actually didn't like that. <laughs> Loco, I have a meeting in 30 minutes. Do you think it will end in 30 minutes? I'm not so sure, man. Garethos, can you at least make a wiener on the minimap with those spores? Thank you. Gotta think of my eight year old viewers. And the 38 year olds that also love wiener jokes. Yeah, I can't do that though. If I were to upload this to the YouTube channel, it would get demonetized immediately.
I'm just kidding. Everyone loves wiener jokes. Everyone, guys. Everyone who's ever lived. Some may pretend they don't like him. But at some point in their life, they did. Oh my god. Okay. Boodum. Boodum. Mm-hmm. Doodum. Minus one Tempest. Big if true. <sighs> do you think Garethos is ever gonna do anything this game? I mean, he could fight the Terran, right? Like, he can fight the Terran. Loco, I've invested too much time already for me to not finish watching this game. There you go. That's what we need. <laughs> Drinkit says, you're free to leave if you're uninterested, Loco, just in case. What do you mean, Drinkit? Drinkit, I'm having the time of my life. Oh my god, look at the excitement. <laughs> Hello, Loco, the whole family enjoyed your Minecraft video last night. We are cake and watched you die. Thanks for the great video. <laughs> we are cake and we... I have no idea what you're trying to say, but I did do a, a short little segment of Minecraft yesterday on stream, yes. I lost I lost a, a bet, basically, basically. <laughs> Loco, you didn't even see the big fight. I mean, I've seen Mus Zero. Patrolling his army back and forth for like a half hour. How does Rodzin have 700 APM? What's he doing? Which one's Rodzin? What if Garethos wins this? You know, normally whenever someone asks Loco who's winning, I usually answer with the fans. I don't know if you guys are winning anymore. <laughs> do, you, do you think you're winning? You're winning right now? I'm too committed to leave this game at this point. Okay, yeah, we should do a mini game. Okay, guys, time for a mini game. Who can spam the most APM? Starting in 10 seconds. <laughs> yo, yo, Beastie is all of a sudden taking over, man. What is Beastie even looking at? Whoa, 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 Zerk all of a sudden a three th what? <laughs> oh, 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 Protoss now all of a sudden, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, what are these Protoss players even clicking on? What about effective APM? Uh, how do you have 800 effective APM? There's a still mate, guys. GG, he killed. A tumor counts as canceling the still mate? What? How does a tumor count as canceling a still mate? The game would never end. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Beastie man with the surprise. The surprise attack. Here we go. Apparently there's a few ravagers forcing to burn on some of those. Let's go, Garatos. Alright. Alright, guys. Must zero. In ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yamato is used left and right. We see Protos also committing on the other side of the, the screen. Amazing. The Must zero, who's been happily jerking off for the last... No, no, no. Uh, he's been happily sitting in the corner. Why did you just... Beastie! Beastie, what was that? You flew away! You killed one Tempest? <laughs> I lost a Metal Cruiser? What? <laughs> this guy's been sitting there for hours! Okay, not hours, but like one hour or so. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Slowly but surely, this game will come to an end. 13 battle cruisers remain. We have 13 tempests, 19 for Moss Zero. Hmm. I don't mind the position of Must Zero, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. This guy still has a scary army. There are still some minerals. Oh, yeah, this ga late game is so late, it's yesterday. There you go. There are 344 minerals, guys. <laughs> Beastie cutie losing it. We need to make a game about the, the rich mineral field. Look at the SCVs, they're ready to go. Oh, the infestors though. A gleaming endowment. Yo, Dark Templar, think of it, it's 20 euro. He says, look up to the next one that eliminates someone. We're trying. Thank you, dude. Oh, Garatos, man, he's been sitting here for a long time. He's ready to go. Is he gonna pop in? No, dude, why did you not go Neural? Garatos, why would you not get Neural? Oh my god, this is actually super painful for Beastie. Yo, hey, drink it. Look, I'm looking at this right now, right? Can we really have someone like Mus Zero win? I guess he's playing the game, right? I guess he's playing the game, so, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game, but like... Uh, you know, like... <laughs> He's playing the lamest style ever. Am I crazy? Like, this is about the most boring way you can play a free-for-all ever. He's just been patrolling for literally an hour. But, you know what? It's like him, the one, you know, he's the one, like, that's actually, like, ahead now. One unit dies. And he's back. Is Garethos that much better? No, Garethos is not that much better, but this guy has no chance of actually winning the game. I don't think. Like, he's microing overlords. <laughs> okay. 
New minigame. I will type a sentence. First one to repeat. I need a good sentence. What do you call a temp or a zealot that smokes weed? A high templar. Okay, here we go. Nobody... These guys suck at the typing challenge, man. Nobody wins. Well done. Muz Zero is attacking me. Why is he? Yo, Garethos. Garethos, can you use Neural just for fun? <laughs> he's had Neural Parasite the whole game and he's had like 17 opportunities to use it. But he's never used it. I don't know why he's not using it. I feel like it's the one way he could actually do something. Yo, Dricket, do you do lifetime bans? I feel like we should have a lifetime ban for some players here. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Yo, Dricket, you can definitely call it, man. Dricket, I don't know what you did with the other free throws, but all of these guys want to win and no one wants to commit. So, you know, y you can definitely come up with a way of calling it, I guess. I think that Robson is the one playing the correct game, but it gets a little bit boring, obviously, because he's not technically won yet. Hmm. I think everyone loses. I think... No, no, no. I don't think everyone... Uh, no, no, no. If you split the money five ways, nobody wins. Everyone loses. What about... We let Twitch chat decide who wins. <laughs> I'll run a poll. Okay, drink it says is okay. The must zero is feeling it. Okay, drink it. Good idea? Or no? Or not? Drink it has to make the call though. Because he's the one paying these things. Give it a minute. He says give it a minute. Okay, okay. Must zero is starting to feel the pressure. He's like, oh crap, I'm never gonna win a pull. I've been playing like a pussy the whole time. <laughs> okay. If the timer comes up. Again, we do it. <laughs> Everyone vote Garatos. <laughs> Dude, look, look at Garatos. He's doing nothing. He's literally been on idle for like more than an hour now. He's probably watching the Big Bang Theory or something. Like he's not even here. Well, he sniped the command center. Yeah, he's been doing like infested terran sprays. That's about it. Oh, there's a second and third place prize? Oh, there's a second and third place prize. Hmm. Yeah, these protoses are never going to lose. Like, nobody wants to commit. Oh, 
Oh, the Mazero though, starting to move out. BC is mining the gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's a brave mule right there, dude. <laughs> There's a couple of them. <laughs> Amazing. 216 minerals remaining. Oh my god. No! Garatals! You're gonna lose votes this way, my man. Yeah, he's cancelling the mules now because he doesn't want to waste the minerals. Actually, yeah, Garatos wants him to mine it because he knows they can't make the turn back trip, so then the minerals are gone. Oh my god, using the vision there of a mule to spawn in a fresh mule. 200 IQ place. It's dead though. Okay, so the must zero is starting to do things. Yeah, Rotzen is starting to feel the pressure. So wait, what's the third place? What's the th what's the second and third place price? I don't even know what the second and third place price is. That would explain why Garatos is still here. Because this man has zero chance of winning. Ten dollars and five dollars? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's worth it, man. This guy has now got an hourly wage of about five bucks. As l well, I mean, assuming the game finishes. This might go on for another hour. Oh my god! Garatos! Garatos! Garatos with the place! Amazing. Where are the BCs? Uh, he's got two... Barracks and one factory. They're all in the corner. I cannot even see that Terran army on the minimap. There it is. Apparently at the same time, Ma Zero is doing some work. Oh god. Beastie Cutie is starting to feel the pressure though. All of his structures have been revealed. Okay, something's actually hap- Oh, and Ma Okay. I like how something was happening and Ma Zero is like, You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the corner. He knows that there's now a factory floating over there. Oh my god, Beastie, moving in with the kill. Guys. Rodzin. My personal favorite in this game. Please salute him. Do what you need to do, Twitch chat. He deserves it. He's done an amazing job. But I'm looking at the Must Zero's army. And you know what? I've been kind of making low-key fun of Garatos all this time. But since there is no Oracle in this army... He doesn't really have a way of killing all these spore crawlers, does he? Because these infestors are gonna land their neural parasites. And once they do... This Protoss army is gonna have a lot of problems. Rotzin? Currently gone. He's on his way, I think, to the final structures. The Terran army is in the top left-hand corner with the final barracks. Did Beastie just lie? You have a raven? He doesn't have a raven. Yikes. Hey, you know what? An hour and a half for five bucks? It's better than an hour and a half for nothing. I trusted you, he says. <laughs> Rotzen got nothing, though. Rotzen was the only one playing the game. 
This is just like the ending of Game of Thrones all over again, man. It's like, I don't know what I expected, but I'm still a little disappointed. I'm not sure how they could have made a proper satisfying ending, other than them all clashing all at once. But, uh, yeah, I'm still a little disappointed. I'm playing Rodzin. Ah, oh, Rodzin got the aggression price. Says Dricket. So who gets who gets the price of sitting back, which should be a minus minus DKP. Minus DKP for the guy who's not doing anything. Garethos. I feel like this should be like not even allowed. I feel like this this justice over here. Oh, man. Nine tempest, eight carriers. <laughs> Yamatos. It's not terrible, to be honest, man. Okay, we're gonna do the pull. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hold up, Dricket. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There's a fight happening. If he teleports away, we do the pull. If he's gonna teleport away... Oh, no, he's not going to. He's committing right now. <laughs> The only issue with doing the pull is that it's obviously Beastie Cutie that wins. Because Beastie Cutie has a very popular stream. <laughs> That's not fair, dude. That's... <laughs> okay. Dricket has called the pull. It's time. It's time. <sighs> Garatul, Garatul's no. Garatul's no, it's done. You've been sitting and cowering for an hour. Drink it. Should I? Okay. All right. All right. Then, then you need to need to attack. Okay. All right. Okay. He's actually going to attack, guys. He says he's going to attack. He says he's going to attack. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's ever going to, but he says he's going to. There's a couple of Vikings just derping around in the top left. Oh my god, Karatos making a march. Garatos doesn't want to fight. <laughs> oh god, the must zero has an observer though. He had an observer, correction. You're going in the wrong direction, Mus Zero. I guess that's because BC Cutie is uh, distracting him. These are actually his last structures, like he can't go anywhere. <laughs> BC Cutie. Beastie thinks he's gonna win the poll. Beastie thinks he's gonna win the poll, but I've got a feeling it wouldn't. I feel like everyone's becoming a low-key fan of Garatos. Who's been spreading creep as his main concern over like literally the last hour and 15 minutes. Yo, he's not fighting though, but he can't. He wants to fight now. This is Gary uh, this is Beastie being a bit of a jerk. Thing is, he's starting to run out. Beastie says GG. Oh yeah, it's a single unit in the top left. One Corruptor of Garethos. Shooting down the final structure. And that means indeed, Beastie is gone. Beastie going out in third place. Can I wait the creep? 
He's not gonna want to fight on creep, though. He's never gonna want to fight. Right? Like, how is he ever gonna want to fight on creep? I don't see how ever Protoss wants to engage this on creep. I can destroy building? How? What are you gonna destroy the buildings with? One Corruptor? I guess he's tr- oh, oh. He's gonna try and slow push the creep to watch the final structures. A generous bestowal. Yo, and Vizzy, thank you very much. He's doing a slow push to watch the final structures. Sick. This is actually pretty clever. I like this. Garatos. Garatos. <laughs> Garatos is making a move to watch the final structures. Both of the guys that have done absolutely nothing all game are, by the way, the ones that are left over. Is this a base race? I'm pretty sure Must Zero needs to kill all of these spore crawlers in order to actually obtain the victory. Are there any other Zerg structures? No, it's literally just 31 spore crawlers. He's getting quite a few kills, though, while he's slow pushing the creep. Yeah, that observer is huge. Oh my god, he got the observer. It, that's like the most important thing to kill right now. He's recalling the observer! <laughs> he almost got the mothership. Mothership recall on the observer. I have never seen an offensive recall on an observer before, but that was actually the most, like, the most important thing to have. Because these Tempests can shoot away so far, he needs that Observer. The Observer is gone. That now means he can continue slow pushing the Spores. 200 IQ play by Garatos. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I gotta be honest with you though, this is not the, ex like, the, end that, or the ending I expected. Thank you by the way, and Vizzy with 5 euro, he says do a pull and put Rodzin in it, make him the winner. <laughs> Silver Fraction, take it for the 220 bits, he says look what this is oddly very tense in the late game. Yeah, I've never seen this before either. I'm actually getting quite excited about it. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Grabstock, as well, for the 12 months. I do appreciate it, man. Welcome back for the one year. I've only seen two spores going down, though. I mean, I thought I saw more of them going down, but... Yo, Onichi, thank you for the 420. He says, Loco, you're playing StarCraft? Wait. I quit the... I quit World of Warcraft. No, I didn't quit World of Warcraft, man. I play multiple games, but thank you so much. Okay, you guys are keeping the excitement here as well. I like it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sticking with us. I think we can work on the free-for-all, like, idea, right? And the mindset and everything. But, I, I you know, I do like the, the ending this is headed into. The question is, will Garethel still have enough spore crawlers left over by the time he's forced to fight? Because he's trying to creep his way towards the final structures. And Musk is trying to... He's actually got the high ground. You know what would be the best move right now, probably, is to move... All, nah, it doesn't matter, actually. I was gonna say, like, maybe he needs to move all the way to the other side, but... That would take forever. Oh my god. He surrounded... He surrounded the, uh, the High Templar, but there's not enough. Hey, but he has no way of killing these Infestors, right? Am I crazy? Like, there is no way for him to kill the Burrowed Infestors. Hey, Garatos! Can you not just move forward? Hey, Loco, when we're done, let's talk to Avex and see what he can do. Yeah. We can do the Grandmaster Battle Royale, dude. We can do... Yeah. Great idea. Great idea, Dricket. There you go. There you go. That's what I mean. There we go. Get him. Oh, my God. Garethos. You're so dirty, man. You've been sitting here the whole freaking game. I don't even know what you've been doing for the last hour and a half. He's picking up units. He's- oh, he's got the Mothership, too. There is no way for Protoss to stop this. He has no detection. He lost the High Templar, too. No, 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 actually, the High Templar is still there. But I guess that's the only thing that can deal damage to these Infestors, but not gonna, that's not gonna be enough, right? Unless he, like, lands two perfect storms on everything. He's been resting. <laughs> yes. Garethos has been resting. He has been gathering strength. I am... Uh, I'm a little bit ashamed, okay? 
Remember when Idra said, like, apologize for playing that race in StarCraft 2? I want to apologize to all the Protoss players out there that are watching this and that are a little bit hurt. A kind gesture. It's only Fluxion. Thank you, dude. He says, Loco Zerk OP confirmed. I can't believe it's actually the Zerk that seems to be winning this. Protoss is slowly being picked apart. The ones in red, by the way, don't count. Yeah, he's gonna have to wait for more energy, I guess. Oh my god. Here comes the fleet. No, it didn't take him 100 minutes to know that he could neural. He just couldn't move. Like, he couldn't go anywhere. He didn't have a way to go and do anything. The High Templar, though. Like, the only way you could win this is with perfect High Templar storms, right? I mean... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's it. The Protoss army's dead. Please get the final, too. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna kill everything except... Oh, my... Okay, so even though... Even though Garethal's won, I feel like this is still appropriate. Shame. 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 That was that was so bad, it it kind of got good again. It's like when you like have a game that's going so terribly. You've dug a hole that's so deep, you can't even climb out of it anymore. So you like decide to dig deeper, you come out on the other side of the world and then all of a sudden you appear again and you kind of like win. Like that was so trash that it that it got good.